Hi, my name's Simon Weaving, Sales Director at Weaving Machinery, and today I want to give you an insight into the new Weaving Sabre Time. This is a mounted drill. It comes in models of 3, 4.8 and 6. The Sabre Tine itself has been out for 10 or so years and from customer feedback we've learned that people want to do more with this type of drill. We've gone from 3 to 4 rows of tines with rows 1 and 2 500 apart and then a calming area in the middle of 1.2 metres and then rows 3 and 4 500 apart followed by a double zigzag harrow for covering back over once the drill's been through the ground. One of the clever things we've done with the Sabre Time is the wheels have gone from the front of the machine into the middle. This gives you better contour following front to back and also we've made the wings individual so they pivot like a set of rolls does when it's going down the field. You've got six degrees of movement side to side so it contour follows a lot, lot better. We also have got a chassis overslung above the frame this distributes the weight of the hopper equally to the middle of both wings. So we're not putting a lot of weight down on the center of the drill. And this means that we maintain an even seed depth across the width of the machine. The Sabre leg is a high carbon steel leg with a double tungsten tile and a stainless steel C tube on the back, which is very, very hard wearing. This tube is also adjustable, which means that you can set it at a normal depth for drilling wheat, barley, oats, and you can also raise the seed tube and get a mini subsoiling effect for oil seed rape and just sprinkle the oil seed rape onto the top and harrow it in. The Sabre Tine itself is on rubber torsion bars. This is what keeps it more rigid in the ground. So this means you get more precision seed placement like you do with the disc drill. At the top of the stainless steel tube, we've got our rubber exhaust boot, which we blow the air to the top of the seed tube. We diffuse 50% of the air, so then the seed free falls. So it puts it in a nice neat row in the bottom of the slot. One thing we have also developed is our new graphite gray plastic hopper. This is more for corrosion resistance, i.e. when people are drilling all seed rape with an applicator on the back of the machine, they like to put DAP fertilizer in the main hopper. The metering unit is our weaving metering unit, which is based on an Accord, but it's 50% bigger. We use our six inch aluminium hydraulic fan, and we also use the full RDS ISOCAN controls with a switch box control for your functions, for your fold, wheels, and your hydraulic markers. It's also variable seed rate ready and isobus ready. If you'd like a demonstration of the Sabertine on your farm and see how it can benefit you, please get in touch.